Hey beautiful, welcome back for today's Halloween tutorial and Fashion Friday. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can wear Halloween makeup with regular clothes. So I got together with Pink Club Wear and we're going to show you how to style two different outfits. One more dressy for the club and one more casual for trick or treating with some cool Halloween makeup. Let's start on the makeup. I'm wearing contacts by Pinky Paradise and these are green contacts. I will have the direct link to these exact styles down below and my eyes will be red for a while because I'm not used to contacts. For the face, I'm starting with a primer. This is the L'Oreal um, Magic Blur and this one is awesome. It covers up all your pores and just, oh, mir Miracle Blur, sorry. It cut miracle blur there we go it covers up all your pores and just makes a nice canvas to start with since I will be using face and body makeup which is like body paint makeup um, if you guys don't have this don't worry I know I use this stuff a lot during Halloween and a lot of people don't have it but you guys can use any cream based makeup the makeup forever flash palette is great you guys can even use like eyeshadows anything that you have this is just what I like to use because it washes off easily with water and I have it so I like to use the stuff I have you guys know I like using like I don't like my stuff to just sit there I like to get use out of it but definitely don't feel like you have to run out and buy body paint makeup which is like the main point of what I'm trying to say but anyway I'm using the color lemon yellow 144 to um, do the whole center of my face and I just use a sponge and dampen it and with water you just dab it to apply I like to dab it because I feel like it goes on with better coverage this way um, and it doesn't look streaky but the whole center of my forehead my cheeks my nose and my upper lip area then I'm gonna go in with the orange color which is bright orange 033 and this is gonna go all around the edges of my face once I have the base colors down then I'm gonna go back and forth with the yellow side and then the orange side and blend the area where they two meet where the two of the colors meet so it's gonna create like a gradient effect you're gonna have like a lighter orange in that area just to give it a really nice blend and make everything go together smoothly Next I'm using a black eyeliner and this is it. I'm just using three products for this whole entire look so it's super quick and easy. And with a black eyeliner I'm just um, tracing out a circle around my eye and then I'm going to be filling it in. I'm including my eyebrow in the circle because my eyebrows are very dark and it's just easier to cover it inside um, the black circle and make sure to go in and fill it in and just cover up all the white spots so you just get two really dark black circles around your eyes. I'm using the matte black eyeshadow from the Lorac Pro to Go palette. Again, you can use any matte black eyeshadow. This is going to help to not make the eyeliner look so greasy and shiny. It's also going to help to fill in any little splotches of skin peeking through. And of course, it's going to help to set the makeup. So it really has more than more purposes than just setting the makeup. Um, I feel that the eyeliner alone can tend to look a bit greasy so this definitely helps especially using a matte color to completely mattify it if you guys want some more like artistic feel to the look you can always use a diamond glitter shadow um, or a diamond shimmer shadow those will look really nice too but I wanted to matte it out And I'm just grabbing a clean blending brush. I wanted this to look kind of fuzzed out and dirty and kind of like it was melting a little bit. So all around the edges, I'm just going to blend it out. So it looks really blurred, almost like I applied a blur tool um, filter to my eyes or something or like I'm melting off. I don't know. I thought it looked a little bit more creepy. Maybe not, but <laughs> I liked this effect for the eyes. All 
All right, now we're gonna start on the nose and I'm just tracing the outline shape of my nose and then I'm going to um, create little squiggly lines going up different lengths to get kind of that weird dripping upward type of look which I thought was really cool and then once you have the general shape just connect your lines and fill that bad boy in as well And I know I popped in a picture of the look that inspired me in the beginning of this video but I didn't want to include this into the introduction because my introductions are always like a million hours long and I just wanted to start the video. But this look was inspired by a beauty that I follow on Instagram. She's a makeup artist and she posts the most amazing face charts so when I saw this one I was like oh my god it's so cool. I screenshotted it immediately and I'm like I have to recreate this. So I put her picture and the picture of her face chart in the introduction of this video. I'll also put her Instagram name down below. It's Amanda Justine, but I'll like spell it out the way she has it down below so you guys can check that out if you're interested. And now I'm just moving on to the mouth and I'm just creating um, like little triangles or little mountain peaks. You guys can actually make them a bit thinner. Mine ended up coming out a little bit thick and chunky. And these lines that I'm drawing like from my mouth to my ear is just a guideline for me to kind of curve my teeth upwards into that smile like shape but yeah I'm just gonna continue to create the little mountain peaks on the top and bottom like a jack-o-lantern and then fill them all in and color them in like I said uh, this was my first time doing the look I usually don't practice my looks I just sit down and I create either from my head or from like winging it as I go along or from a picture that inspired me um, but yeah if I were to do this look again for Halloween which I might I will be making the teeth a little bit thinner kind of more longer and jaggedy like the picture because I do like that look better Once your nose and teeth and mouth are all covered and um, filled in, go ahead and use the same matte black eyeshadow just to set that whole area, get rid of that greasy um, eyeshadow look as well, and cover up any missing splotches or skin peeking on through. And for my lips, you guys saw I just used the same eyeliner. I didn't even like use a black lipstick or anything but you could if you want to because the eyeliner was kind of drying on my lips but you don't have to And now with the black eyeshadow, which I just realized I said I'm using three products. I guess it's technically four because the face paint are two different colors. Womp womp. But with the black eyeshadow and a pencil brush, I'm just creating um, lines like the indentations in a pumpkin going down my face. And then I'm going to be taking a clean blending brush and blending it out. These don't have to be perfect. Um, I made them kind of jaggedy and like thick and weird, chunky because it's Halloween and I don't know I feel like imperfections in Halloween makeup just make it look creepier so this is my extent of creepy right now it's gonna get a little bit creepier than this in future videos not much you guys know I'm against this stuff but it will get a little bit creepier there will be some fake blood involved probably in my Monday videos so stay tuned for that but yeah, just create your lines on your face and then we're going to move on to outfits. Like I said, there's two outfits and I got together with pink clubwear, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you're already familiar with them because I do have quite a few items from um, that online store. But 
Excuse the lighting in these uh, video clips, that's why I'm adding photos that are much better lit. I don't have anyone to help me with fashion videos, so sometimes it gets difficult to film them. Um, but the top is actually a long sleeve crew sweatshirt and I love the print and the kind of padded print all over it and it's very kind of silky looking. I adore this. You know this is definitely my style. This first outfit is kind of my tomboy style. You know sometimes I like the tomboy stuff and sometimes I like the pretty girl stuff. So this is definitely my tomboy style. Um, it's super comfortable. It's super Halloween-y, I feel, and just adding the layers. You guys know I love my layers. I love to be on my Kanye look. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know my random style. So I have that sweatshirt on, and then my leggings actually have this awesome draping on the side. And I like this one because it comes down pretty far, and it doubles up the material. So I know some leggings are kind of see-through, and I'm not cool with that. So this is going to cover your butt and your underwear and all that stuff and it does come down pretty far so it's cool and it's very flowy then on top I have a oversized plaid um, printed flannel shirt and I love how big this is I feel like it goes perfectly with this jack-o-lantern as well I put it on to show you but I actually ended up tying it around my waist because I love tying flannels around my waist I feel like it's so comfortable and then on top of that I put this um, gray shredded up hoodie sweat like sweater with a hood and everything so cute I just feel like this is awesome to go out trick-or-treating and creep out some little kids um, I tried to creep out my son but it didn't work he looked at me kind of funny and he was like mommy you were playing with makeup again I guess he knows me too much already but I definitely loved this sweatshirt this whole outfit I'm just like obsessed with this whole entire outfit then for the next look I had to get a little bit dressy this is perfect if you guys are going to a party or anything like that but you still want some cool makeup you can definitely do some weird cool makeup on top and then I'm wearing this scallop scoop back bodycon mini dress it is so pretty guys I'm obsessed with it it's sequined and it's shimmery and it's so feminine and then you have this like creepy face on top I feel like the contrast is just so cool and it's just so much fun for Halloween and these are outfits that you're actually going to get use out of the rest of the year as well so it's not like a Halloween costume that you're only going to use once. So I will have the links for all of the outfits that I showed down below and all of the details as well and everything else that I said I would have links for. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys on Monday probably with another Halloween tutorial. I think I'm going to do my gory one on Monday so stay tuned for that. Love you guys so much. See you later. Bye. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I just wanted to let you know that if you want to see my Halloween treats, then you can click the video that's playing in the left-hand box, and that'll take you to my playlist with a whole bunch of different videos for Halloween treat ideas that you can use at any Halloween party that you might have coming up, and they're really simple and fun to make. And then if you guys want to see more Halloween tutorials, then you can click on the video that's playing on the right-hand box to go to my Halloween playlist, and it'll start you off with my last tutorial, which was a golden goddess look it was also the first one of this year so stay still so check out that and stay tuned for lots more and like i said don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think of the look down below and i'm so close to 100k guys let's see if i can make it before halloween before thanksgiving i don't know it's up to you guys i love you so much and i will see you soon bye